Good morning and welcome back to Outdoor Beards where today we're going to be carrying on with our landscaping project and finishing up our two-step edging that's going all around the yard. I've already got two sides of this done. We're working on the third side today and that's where we're going to do our little how-to. I was trying to get this edging done a lot sooner but I kind of had to sideline this project and do a little bit of remodeling in the house because we have a guest coming. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my daughter and I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Uh, if you've been following the channel for a long time, you know I really, really enjoy kids, uh, specifically mine. <laughs> uh, I've got a little boy right now, and we're bringing in a little girl. And so I've had to remodel a room and paint it pink, and it turns out that when you have a kid, it's a lot of work. The kid's not even here yet, and it's a lot of work. <laughs> anyway, so this project here had to get sign lined a little bit so I could make sure things are ready for this one. Anyway, so let me show you what we've done around the yard and then we'll get started on the project. Uh, if you haven't seen the video for how to make a paper patio, I will link that up right here. That turned out really nice. Uh, we've enjoyed quite a few evenings of uh, s'mores by the campfire. On this other corner of the yard, we built a second paper patio to use for the shed base. I had a wood base under here before, it was kind of warping. I had done that project really fast and it was really bad. and. Anyway, so I took that out and I, I built a second paper patio because, <laughs> you know, I'm just addicted to punishment, I guess. Now you can see back there, I've also got a, a raised section and there's a gap back here, if you can see that. And that gap has a purpose. There is, on this side of the patio, there's this tree. This tree is in my neighbor's yard and it is bowing this fence out real bad. It's actually bowed by a little over half inch right now and as the tree grows it's going to continue to bow and I didn't want that fence pushing on my edging and like moving my patio around or destroying it so this gap right here I'm filling with rocks and as the fence continues to bow it will push the rocks around instead of pushing my patio around. And this is our project for the day. So I'm going to show you how to install this type of edging which is basically just a little two-step edging and of course this runs into our paver patio and then it goes around the back, kind of in a half circle, all the way to the other side, and then carries on all the way down the fence. Now, as you know, I'm kind of obsessive compulsive, and uh, look at how straight that is. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. It's just, mm, yeah. If you're gonna do something, take the time and do it right. To start this off, uh, we're going to measure out four feet from the from the fence line here, and we're going to put a line in the dirt. We're using one of these things. I have no idea what this is called, uh, but it basically cuts a nice straight line into your dirt. And then we're going to dig a trench. Uh, this trench here, we're going to be about five inches deep. I don't need to go as deep with this as I did on the patio because there's not going to be traffic on this edging, so you could save yourself a little effort and you don't have to go quite as deep. And we're basically building a, a really long, thin paper patio. trench dug all the way down we're going to start installing our base material this just like the paver patio is basically just a road base uh, you can get this at your nearest local landscaping company so we're going to pack the trench in here and have it be slightly above where we want it to end up oh well, we could just shovel all this in place kind of spread it around and then we're going to pack it down When you're digging your trench, 
Make sure your trench is as wide as your, your hand tamper. That way the trench doesn't get in the way of tamping it down. Now after I've compacted this with the hand tamper, I'm gonna go through and just soak it. It'll help get rid of all the air pockets and just kinda harden it up a little bit. All right, so we're on day two of our edging projects here. We've got our base laid down. It's tamped, it's nice and solid. I didn't work too hard on making sure that the base layer was level because I'm actually gonna be using the sand in order to level this out all the way across. I've already started laying some pavers, so let's continue on and I'll show you how I level this out. For this, you will need a bucket full of your paver sand. You will need some sort of a straight edge. I prefer this. Uh, this is basically just electrical, it'll, bleh, electrical conduit. Uh, works really well for this. You'll need a level of some kind. So I've got a four foot level here. Little shovel, rubber mallet does seem, seem to come in handy. And then of course your pavers. So at this point here, I'm, I've actually got a bit of a junction. We're gonna be taking a turn. And so I need to level this part out with the sand and make sure it's the same height as over here. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to take our bucket of sand and just kind of dump some of this down in here. And then, using our hand, we'll kind of spread it out a little bit. And then we're going to use our level. Kind of pushing it around here. And I'm, I'm watching the bubble as I'm doing this. Trying to get it nice and flat. Kind of going to go back and forth. Creating a nice flat surface. That's level. So now this surface right here is perfectly flat and perfectly level. But you can see over here, where I need to make this turn, is not quite there yet. So we're going to take our shovel, add a little bit more sand in here. And go through the process again. Pushing that back and forth. Now you might have to do this a couple of times, especially since I'm doing a turn. Uh, because I also need to make sure that this sand is not only level, but is also the same height as this paper here. When you're doing this in a long row, it's easy because you can just kind of work your way down, make sure it's level all the way down, and then set your bricks in place and work your way across. I can see this spot right here is still a little bit too high. So using my level again, I kind of shave this down. There we go, I should be able just set a brick in, in place. We're just gonna work our way across. Now earlier I said you're gonna need a straight edge. In this case, my electrical conduit. And this is to make sure that my brick line is nice and straight. And once you've leveled out that sand, you can set these bricks in here pretty quick. And of course, I'm going to have to cut one down at the end. But you can see this straight edge is really useful because you could just put the bricks right up to it and work your way down. And then once we get into our uprights, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Now for our vertical pavers, those are going to go right on the back here. We've already got the sand left over from when we were leveling out for this. Should be able to just place these right in here. And because of how we leveled the sand, this is all gonna come out flat and even with these. And one last tip for you for the vertical pavers here. Take a two by four and cut it to the right height. Just putting it in front, tap that brick down. And no, I'm gonna be the same height all the way across. And because I'm doing this measurement off of these bricks, which I know are level, these will be level as well. 
All right, so we're on the last step of our edging project here. We're about to add the permasand to this. Before you start this process, make sure you look down the, the line here, make sure it's nice and straight to your liking. We're gonna add our permasand, so get yourself a small paintbrush, little shovel, and your bucket of permasand. Now, unlike our paper patio, where we were able to just dump this on there and sweep it around with a giant broom, we're gonna have to use a little bit more finesse here. So grab your shovel, take just a little bit of the permasand, put it over here in the corner, and then using your brush, you're gonna sweep it into the cracks here. Now after you've done this, make sure you sweep off any excess and then wet it down just like we did on the paper patio. And let it dry and you're good to go.